welcome back. We're less than a month away from Election Day and viewers still have questions about the absentee ballot process. Kayla Solomon with our voter access team spent the day getting answers to some of your questions. If you plan on voting absentee, there are still a few weeks left for you to request your ballot. Here in Macon Bibb County, the Board of Elections says they've received over 30,000 absentee ballot requests so far, but people still have questions. Let's answer them. One viewer commented on a 13 WMAZ Facebook post asking what to do if she threw out her absentee ballot before it was filled out. Macon Bibb Board of Elections Chairman Mike Kaplan says this is an easy fix. All they need to do is call the Board of Elections, will cancel out their first ballot and mail them a new one. Or they can go by. We asked Kaplan some other common questions when it comes to ballots. He says one has to do with whether or not a postage stamp is needed when dropping off ballots in person. Absolutely, do not need a stamp if you put it in the drop box. That's what the drop boxes are for. Kaplan says it's important for people to also remember to sign the back of the ballot, and the Secretary of State's office is making sure you can keep track of it. Follow their ballot online. They can see when it's been checked in. They can see when it's been mailed. They can see what has been received by us. And it's very important for them to keep up with their ballot. The deadline to request your absentee ballot is October 30th. In Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Early voting starts in Macon on Monday at 8.30 in the morning. There will be three locations for the first time in Bibb County.